Hi, this is Scott Marshburn with you Cabinets Tips and Tricks. The other day I had a question about how to add hardware to the hardware library, specifically drawer slides. Coincidentally, I also had a question on the very same subject, and they specifically wanted to know how they can actually associate drawer slides to their drawer boxes. So I'm going to show you both methods. Obviously, you have to have the hardware in your lab in your database before you can actually add it to a drawer box. So let's do that first. I'm going to go into settings and preferences and define hardware. You got a tab for categories. eCabinets loads several categories automatically when you download eCabinets for the very first time. And one of those categories are slides. And this is where you want to add all your slides, especially if you're going to be adding them to the actual drawer box itself. So I'm going to click on this category, double click, and it brings me into my drawer slide category. I'm going to click on Add Product, and it brings up a dialog new slide. I'm going to select my manufacturer. Now, if you don't see your manufacturer, let me show you how you can add that. If you go under Manufacturers, right now I have Accuride Manufacturer, but if I didn't, I would just click on Add Manufacturer, and it automatically puts a new manufacturer in here for you. And you just simply rename it, and then click Apply, and it'll put it in there. I don't want to add this manufacturer, so I'm going to select it and remove it. So let's get back into our slides here. I want to add a new product, so click on Add Product, select my manufacturer, AccuRide, Distributor, and you can add new distributors just like I showed you on manufacturers there. So you would select your, your distributor and put in your product code, and I'm just going to use this right here for example. AccuRide 22, whatever the product number may be, and then give it a description and a price. Click OK, and it's in there. Now you see we don't have an image. If you want to put an image in there, you can edit your product, go to Files, right here where it says No Image. You can either click on that or click Change, and you would have gone somewhere and found an image of the slide that you want to put in here. Now I don't I currently do not have an image of an AccuRide slide, so I'm just going to use just a any old image that I have. I'm going to click open and click OK. And there's my image. Now if you want to get rid of that image, if you double click on it, go back to files, click on delete, it's going to get rid of it. Click OK, click apply. Now it's still in here. If you click OK, come back into Define Hardware, it's gone now. So that's how you go about doing all that. Let's go ahead and get our new hardware on an actual drawer box. Now there's several different ways to go about doing this, but if you want it to be associated to the individual drawer box, you're going to need to go into Cabinet Editor, bring a cabinet into Cabinet Editor. Now you could do this from Custom Layout just by bringing the cabinet in here but it's a good idea to go ahead and set this up in your library. And what I've done is I've added this drawer box separately from the drawer front. This, this particular cabinet, I added it in the drawer box editor, so that's why I'm going to add my slides. So I'm going to go in the drawer box editor. I'm going to select my drawer box, and I'm going to come over here. And you see we got drawer box slide, drawer box slide mount. Right now, none of them set, so I'm going to click on not set and it automatically brings me into my slides here. That's why it's important to put these in the slide category. If you had put it in a, a generic category or a different category, even though you could select categories and let's say go to pools, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to let you do it. So I'm going to click on my AccuRide 22, select, and yes, I want to apply it. I can go back to main, and if I come over here to cabinet by list, you see I've got them in here. You can add other items too. You can add, right now it says add items to assembly, and that's because I don't have my cabinet selected. So what you need to do is double click on your cabinet. It highlights the entire cabinet, and I'm going to click refresh. Now we have the option to add items to our cabinet. So for example, if I had an adjustable shelf in here and I wanted to add shelf pins, I would click on this, and now I can bring up any of my categories, okay? So shelf pins, select it, select, and I can add the quantity of shelf pins. Right now it's only one. I want four, and update quantities. 
and we're good to go. So now if I take this cabinet and save it in my library and then go into custom layout or even batch, let's just go to batch here, bring that cabinet into batch and I come over here to, um, I can come over here and go to job by list and it lists everything or I can come over here and click on my by list here and there's my drawer slides, my rear brackets, and my shelf pins. That's how you go about doing that. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, how about give me a thumbs up? And hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. As always, thank you for watching and have a good day.